Florence, Arizona. Florence. I used to think Florence was a time continuum. The one thing I figured out about Florence is I put the letters of F L O R E N C E and I put two words flow F L O first three I put into time, meaning a current speed, meaning E equals MC squared because, of course, Einstein. You put energy equals motion, and if you multiply it, which is power, over 2, it means if something is in constant speed, it stays the same. So flow, I put constant speed, or it's in motion. Meaning past, present, future. So for time, I put past, present, and future. Meaning Florence is a time where constantly we are recycling our lives. It's where one life is continuum until we do something right. This is where I noticed in Florence, I figured out a number 300. I had figured out that there was a flood, but nobody remembers, and also five current fires happening in Florence. This was five major fires, and also I figured out that I thought there was three mountains, one as Florence, one as Coolidge, and the other one unknown. But it's supposed to look like a crown. So first, middle, last for Florence. Middle and last. Florence was first. But also can go with Florence would be, I would think, Jerusalem. How it has a little side of river. I would think the Mississippi. And I would think all these constant little places having that little side of water but constantly think about, I thought about Peru, I thought about the Mississippi River, I thought about anything with a side like Babylonian days, I thought about AD after death, but I also thought about before Christ, BC, and after death, I'm pretty sure it means something else. I then went into math versions where BC can mean before Instead of before Christ, it's before century, meaning cents, meaning a hundred. Now, I figured that numbers, numbers can mean anything, but what if in reality, instead of 2019, what happened to 21st century, we missed a hundred years? If it was 21st century, why well, mention it if it's a hundred years from now? But if we are in just 20th century, then where's 2019? This is where I figured out that maybe before Christ means before century, meaning 1.00, it'd have to be reversed to 0 0.1. We would be 100 years off, or known as the 80 year anniversary because we missed 20 years, which is deck because 10 and 10. Um, also, I kind of realized that most of us is either in a family where there's two older daughters and two younger brothers, well, son. I figured out that most of my friends had this type of family where there was always one middle child, two younger boys divided. So the sisters were two years apart, which was true. I figured out that the neighborhood I lived in, it was constantly having the same family as children, one always passed, and two daughters and two sons, and then another one from the family, which is really weird how they keep having deja vus, and the family doesn't know why. A deja vu, you know what it means when you hear it, but when I hear it, I sound and I see it as another version of you. It's the same relapsed thought. So deja vu, double version of you, meaning you did something where you're supposed to remember, but maybe instead of doing that exact same thing, you're supposed to change it because supposedly maybe you're supposed to do something you were supposed to do, but that person didn't do it, and then you're not doing it. And you only know, just do what you're usually doing and don't worry about it. So Florence, I thought it was a constant speed of time because we're constantly in the loop. And then my number, I mentioned 300, was a one flood because noticed around Florence there's a lot of clothes. 
and I know that it's U.S. territory, and it was government property, and it said that it was U.S. private, and I realized that I was a visitor, and I realized Florence had a visitor center, and that's the first time I ever actually saw somewhere known as the visitors, and also I noticed a lot of trailers, and I noticed this one burning trailer had paperwork, which was kind of crazy because I saw um, fried um, fried rats. It was like it got blown up. It was pretty crazy because um, the paperwork mentioned it looked like it was just made up, but I don't remember the names. I'm not gonna say them, but I remember the president, and I noticed the year it was the 1800s, and it could just be fake. It could just be from a movie, and somebody could have just made it up, but all the clothes doesn't explain where it came from, and how all of a sudden, everybody has weird feelings around Florence, but it's not just Florence, it's wherever I go around Florence, it's like, we're surrounded by mountains, but what are the mountains, and how does it connect? Maybe those mountains are lapsed from miles apart each other to make it look like we're in a bowl? Maybe we're just one little tiny island? which I found out that there was a gate which was, I think it's called the Skull, the Red Skull, so there's an island and it's cracked like a skull on the top and it has that one island where you're not supposed to visit, the top 10 dangerous islands. And it has a circle where you go halfway above the water and you can swim through the loop. I believe that's one key and I believe another key leads to the hell underneath. Now, I may or may not believe in this realm of darkness, but the crazy thing is, I got to use my math skills, or I can try, and you can simply put and draw a grid, and you remember coordinates of coordination. You remember the C. You put quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. It equals a C, coordination. So why not just do the Earth as 360? Draw a circle, do 360, divide it. You have your straight angle, 180. And then you have each one going by 45. Because you know, 180 divided by 4. Because you're dividing each side. You're not just focused on one. So each one quadrant is 90, each 90, so you have 180, 180 is 360. So right now we're looking at one half of the side which would be, well, if it's Florence, north, south, east, west, it can also mean news. If you rephrase it, they can just not make them up. You can do anything to put. Um, so, if you didn't know where you were on Earth, does it matter to you? Probably not. But it should because you live there and you you want to know where you live. You want those who live in snow usually want to live somewhere hot. Those who live somewhere hot usually want to live in snow. We're opposites, so maybe we're supposed to be somewhere we're not supposed to be. Maybe where we think we are, we're actually there forever. Now the first time I figured it out, it's not figuring it out, it's just simply thinking about something. I'm critically thinking because I'm reasoning my own thoughts in my own head. I'm a critical thinker, so I think about it, I reason, I come with facts, and I want to think about it because I'm a thinker, so I'm not Einstein, but I'm my own philosopher. I like studying my own thoughts in my own room. I just sit there and I think about well, if this world is just a circle, it's a sphere, it's 360, so it simply puts it 180, but there's something between 180 and 180. And if it's between, then it's that circle realm, something where we can't have time that's constant, because there's time, it's constant, it's continuum, it's constant. So what do you think about when you think of constant? I thought Constantine, because you know comics. And Constantine, I thought John, I thought the evil twin, John Valentine. Now, how did I get Constantine? It's because angels and demons. 
Now with angels and demons, I think maybe we are maybe just ghosts, holy ghosts. Maybe we're just spirits. And maybe when you think that someone is talking about you and nobody is there, maybe you're just a psychic where you are kicked to the side, which is known as the continuum, which is what I call it. I call it con... Well, con because it's bad, and science because it's a thought that can't be proven. And usually it's conscience, you push it down to your gut. And it's a bad feeling, but you don't believe in it, you don't trust it, so you push it down, and that's your conscience. But in reality, your conscience should be your bad shoulder and your good shoulder, which is your angel and your demon. But if you don't believe in either, why do you have it? Well, it's your conscience, it's your Tinker Bell, and it's your Jiminy Cricket. Now, when you think cricket, you think cell phone, you think, you know, um, T-Mobile. Now, I thought at first, maybe, if you have a phone, what's the point of Wi-Fi? And what's the point of the... You know, it's just everything you think about, you use every day. What's so addicting to the phone than it is to a computer? Why do you use games? Why do you use everything it's to connect with people? But why do you connect with people if you see them every day? They don't call you in the middle of the night telling you how worried they are. They see you every day. You know, it's like little by little we're being addicted to something that we are addicted to people, but it's kind of confusing. But you see that little by little you start becoming unaddicted to people because you're more addicted to, to social media. So I think if you have any questions, just you know, write in the comments below. But there is a specific thing to think about is the fact that maybe you're here for a reason and we're all here for a reason. So just, you know, take your time and think about it. But don't overthink about it because you're not going to save everybody. You're just saving yourself. And I'm here, so I'm happy. You should be too.